Welcome to Zoom Contact Center. This video will showcase the basic information an agent needs to get started supporting customers. We'll review logging in, updating your availability, handling engagements, adding a contact, accessing your voicemail inbox, and viewing agent analytics. Your first step to accessing Zoom Contact Center is logging into the Zoom Desktop client. If your organization has enabled single sign-on, use the SSO option. Otherwise, log in with your Zoom account credentials. Next, select the Zoom Contact Center icon in the navigation header of the Zoom Desktop client. If it's your first time logging in, you may be prompted to allow Zoom access to your microphone. When you're in Contact Center, your agent status bar is in the upper left of the application window. Change your status to Ready to start accepting engagements from your assigned queues. If you need to step away or are unable to accept a new engagement, set your status to Not Ready or choose a more specific option. When a notification for a new engagement appears, select Accept to engage the customer. If you choose Decline, the customer goes back into the appropriate queue. For web chat and SMS text message engagements, your chat window includes the ability to format your text, attach a file, and add emojis. For voice calls, the contact center controls feature a standard set of tools, including mute, keypad, hold, and transfer buttons. If enabled by your administrator, you also have the ability to escalate an engagement to video chat using the video icon button. Click the Profile tab to view information about the inbound customer, like their phone number or email if provided. To transfer a call, you can select the Transfer button. From there, you'll have the option to choose another agent or another queue in the system. You can also transfer the call to any third-party number using the dial pad directly. Both during and after a call or chat, you'll see an Engagement option on the right. Here you can see the unique ID number for that engagement. You can also view information about the call, as well as add and publish notes related to it. At the end of an engagement, you can close things out by choosing a disposition to categorize it. Then select Done. Your agent status will automatically update to Ready, making you available to help the next customer. To add a new phone number as a contact in Zoom Contact Center, select the blue Add Contact button next to the phone number of the caller. Fill in any desired information and select Save. Doing so will add the contact to the address book and future calls from that number will display the information you provided. Your inbox will contain voicemails for the queues you belong to. You can play a message by selecting the Play button under Duration. To delete a message, click the three dots on the right and select Delete. Placing a new call or text yourself? Click the plus icon in the left-hand column to bring up the option to initiate a new voice call or SMS message. The Analytics section provides a view into real-time analytics and historical reports for channels, queues, and agents. Supervisors have access to a full set of information for their team, while individual agents are typically granted access to their own live stats and historical reports. With that, you have all the information you need to start using Zoom Contact Center as an agent. Happy helping.